Welcome back to Full Stack Automation with Ruby. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to use explicit weights in Appium tests. If you notice here, I've made a few changes to a authentication feature scenario. Let's just run this quick and see a failing test. So, mobile authentication. So, we're using uh, Appium server here is running and we're instantiating a iPhone 13 and we're gonna run that there so it's going to enter our invalid email and secret password and it's going to click the sign in button and we should see this invalid email message on the view however we see a spinner and then invalid email so how do we do an explicit wait for that message to show using Appium to show you that I'm gonna add a step here I wait for the process spinner to disappear. We'll add that step and we'll run this again so we can get that step and add it to our step definitions down here. Let's do that and then we'll have a look at what's actually going on at the same time. So I'll refresh the page. And as soon as it hits the sign in, I'll do a refresh and hopefully we'll see the uh, spinner in here. So, try to grab it here. And I missed it. Okay, uh, let's try this again. Let's do this all over. We'll start up a new session there. We do have our pending step, which will just create a new step definition. Let's call it common steps.rp. And we'll paste that in so we're good to go. But I want to show you exactly how this is going on with the spinner and the code. So, okay, we have a new session here and we'll jump into the Xcode quick and you'll see a hard sleep three seconds that I put in and then once that's up it'll stop animating the spinner hide it and, and then render the invalid email that we want to see in our uh, assertion here okay so let's get a look at that spinner element I want to see it uh, so if I tap here and do a tap and refresh yeah we do have the spinner in our uh, view here so it looks like it's in progress element right but we can use the accessibility ID in progress again we want this to be not showing on the view and then we'll we'll do an assertion on the invalid so to do that we can jump in our new uh, common step here and we can instantiate a new weight class from the uh, Selenium web driver which if you notice is a dependency for Appium lib in the Ruby bindings let's just jump in here and do selenium web driver and we'll open up a new weight class and we can pass in our timeout uh, argument of let's do 10 seconds again we're only doing a three second wait after we click the button but just so what this means is it's going to do some polling appium will pull the uh view for this element that we pass in the lambda uh, 10 seconds we're gonna want mobile driver which is where we set in our hooks that are B here that's the variable we called it and we're gonna do a find elements we're doing elements because what did I do there This will return an array uh, for whatever uh, ID we pass in. I believe it was in progress real quick. I'll just open this back up. Yeah, in progress accessibility ID. Yeah, okay, so got our ID and we're gonna use the size method equals what? Zero, we don't want any in there in this we want this to return true with zero uh in progress ids so that we can go on and insert or uh, assert the invalid email in the next step again so this is a three second wait 
We're gonna do a maximum of 10. So let's see if this flows through nicely and passes for us this time. So let's rerun it, filling out the form with email, uh, password, and we're gonna do this smart wait here for the spinner. It's pulling up, ah, it found a zero and it moved on to the next step. And so now we're passing. Great. So yeah, that's explicit weights with Appium. Thanks for watching.